Assalamualaikum and good afternoon to all of you. Today we are going to do the instruction video which is our team is swimming at Taya. Before we start, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Muhammad Amin bin Ahmad Shukri and my metric number is 197168. And my name is Cik Rani and my metric number is 203468. Hi, my name is Nurul Akila bin Ahmad Tarmizi and my metric number is 204013. My name is Din Shumei and my metro number is 205066. Okay, hi, my name is Nur Amira Binti Abdul Halim. My metric number 206623. Okay, before we start, uh, one of our members, which is Daniel, has absent today. So let us start with the first slide, which is swimming. This is our team presentation. Okay, introduction. Um, okay, um, swimming is a very common sport that can be played by both children and old people, but all sports have the potential for injury. Therefore, swimming equipment can not only protect the swimmer, but also perform some auxiliary functions. So in a term of swimming equipment and clothing preparation, there are difference in some different customs and backgrounds. However, the concepts used for conform and reduced drag remind the same. But in the style of swimwear, the rubric and the type of cut vary. So let's take a look at the different aspects of swimming equipment displayed in terms of gender and religion. Okay, the next part is male swimming attire. Okay, as you can see, most of material by swimming suit is coming from nylon, nylon, polyester, spandex, and cotton. But I guess cotton probably probably only around five to ten percent in their production. So, however, the polyester polyester is the one that lead as majority fabric production in swim swimwear. Basically, there are two types of swimsuit, which is full swimsuit or swim shorts. And as the picture shows, that a man wearing a full swimsuit, which is normally people wearing in the public pool. But it can be one set from top to bottom or you are wearing a top and also a bottom. But for swim shorts, if you are that you are wearing a shorts, that's the only difference. Because uh, you can wearing a top like sleeveless, short sleeve or long sleeve. So the next is you have to wear a swim cap and also a goggle. Next is female swimming attire. Let's see. Okay, for female swimming attire, as you can see, the first example, we have burkini, top bottom set, tankini, swim dress, leg suit, and skirtini. And all of the materials may made from lycra, spandex, and nylon. So as you can see, the athlete wear black, blue leg suit of lycra. She also wear goggle and black long hair cap. This is my reminder to all of you, don't get confused by the names because the name can be um, variety. As you can see, if you find out something like the different name, but the same stuff. So it's just like the same, yeah. That's it. Next. All right. Uh, okay. Now let's move on to Muslim and Muslimah swimming attire. All right. Um, as what we can see, there is a difference between attire that has been explained by uh, Jihan and Amin just now. As what we know, um, as a Muslim and Muslimah, uh, we must obey with the things that have been uh, prescribed in our religion, isn't it? So uh, it is including the attire itself and the choice of uh, the clothes will be different compared to other clothes. Uh, 
all right. Uh, for example, the swimming attire for Muslim. We can see that uh, in this slide, uh, the model is wearing a short sleeve uh, swimsuit with the uh, half quarter trousers. And if the cap uh, is necessary, uh, they can wear it as well. Uh, meanwhile, uh, for the Muslimah, it is uh, compulsory to wear uh, the hijab or scarf to wear the uh, to cover the aura, to cover the aura. Uh, so that is uh, the obvious difference that we can see to be compared uh, the attire that has been explained by uh, Jihan for the female uh, swimming attire. And uh, next for the top, the model is wearing a long sleeve and loose uh, swimsuit. And it comes with the loose trousers. In addition, uh, wearing, sock, wearing socks is not an option, but it is always a compulsory for the Muslimah to wear it. And uh, I think that's all for the Muslim and Muslimah swimming attire. All right, next. Okay, uh, this is my part, which is improper swimming attire. So, okay, based on the slides, there are several uh, types of clothing that are not suitable to wear during a swimming activity. So, first is cotton t-shirt. Okay, these um, clothes are not suitable to wear during swimming um, because yeah, cotton yeah. and some other materials can hold detergents germs and bacteria in them which is uh, it can be it can release uh, into the water so this can cause uh, swimmers to get sick and even affect the water chemistry and clarity so uh, when the cotton uh, observes the pool water it can become pretty heavy which uh, the weight down swimmer and make swimming more difficult Okay, the next one is jean cut of denim or long jean span. Okay. This is um, not suitable to swimming, to wear during swimming because uh, this can uh, become uh, waterlogged and heavy uh, and it can make it difficult to swim or float. Okay, the third one is walking attire. Okay, uh, walk, walk, workout attire. Okay. Worker attire uh, uh, are not designed for swimming, so they are too bulky and not water friendly. Okay, the last one is uh, basketball, or in specific is athletic clothes. Okay, athletic uh, short fabrics are an ideal for swimming, but uh, as long as you your shorts are synthetic material, which is a uh, typical polyester or some some times nylon, you should be able to swim in the shorts. Okay, I think that's all my explanation. Um, okay, the uh, swim shoes are divided into polyester based competitive <laughs> swim shoes and cotton based based Swimming, swimming shoes. Men swimming shoes have four swimming shoes and the swimming trucks. Women's women's swimming shoes are divided into the seven types like um, bronchini, top button seat, tankini, swimming dress, leg shoes, and skirtini. And the Muslim shoe, the swimming shoes have turn bands, scarves, and loose long less and swimming shoes and trousers and shirts. Our swimming shoes can be always goggles and a cup. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.